to Neil Dashwood had her long-awaited Impact Wrestling debut. But was it any good? Let's talk about it here in the lounge. Let's get it. Hey, what up, everybody? This is BQ. This is the Impact Lounge, the YouTube channel, the number one place to be for the Impact Wrestling fans. So you definitely want to be a subscriber if you're not already. Daniel Dashwood made her long-awaited Impact Wrestling debut this past Friday on Impact. This was a signing that I really, really praised when it happened. It was one I was very excited about, very freaking jazzed about. As a matter of fact, I'm going to put my reaction video in the pinned comment of this video so you can check that out but as I said in that one this is a fucking signing this was something this was major this was big this was the most excited I had been about someone coming on board since Tessa Blanchard now we from what we know right now she signs through Bound for Glory as I've said as many have said don't don't trip too much don't worry about it Tessa Blanchard was only there short term before she ended up signing a two-year deal or at least that was rumored how long her contract was but you know it's possible she's testing the waters um, and it's possible she just wants to see you know what creative direction they're going to take her after the pay-per-view or or who knows we don't really know but I, I don't think anyone should trip too much but let's get to the match the match itself was versus Kiera Hogan and uh, if you haven't seen Tennille Dashwood wrestle before, I'm a big fan of hers. I've always been a pretty big fan, but I haven't seen any of her Ring of, Ring of Honor work. But, but I, I, I kind of like to compare her to Allie in the ring. I think she's she's pretty similar in, uh, I don't know why, uh, I'll say moveset, even though the moves are different. But just wrestling style and mobility and everything. She's very, I think she's very comparable to Allie. And frankly, in my opinion, I felt that Kiara carried the match. I think Kiara played a really great role of a heel in this match, calling her superstar, making fun of the Emma dance. I thought she just 100% carried this thing. It was sloppy on both parts, so I wouldn't say these two have a whole lot of in-ring chemistry together, but I thought Kiara looked pretty good. And of course, Tennille ends up the victor. It's her debut. It's her big debut. Of course, she's going to win the match. But I don't really think she wrestled and performed like the winner of the match. And hopefully, I would imagine she's probably going to face Madison Rain next. Hopefully when this happens and when they start getting into it and she gets mixes, mixes it up with the division, she's going to show us more because I really truly feel at the bottom of my heart that she's going to challenge for the Knockouts Championship at Bound for Glory. We'll see if that's what happens, but that's what I've predicted. I think that's what a lot of people predicted. Other than that, I can't really see what they would have her do. But I asked for reactions on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. I've been asking, what did you think of Tennille Dashwood's debut? And for the most part, people felt it was really underwhelming. They were disappointed. And uh, this is not a knock against her talent, because I think she's a really talented individual. I don't think she's wrestled the knockout style before. I don't think she's mixed it up with any of the knockouts on an independent scene. This isn't WWE where they're all kind of under the same trainers and everything. So I, I just don't think she was prepared. I'm not saying Kiara is a five star athlete. I mean, there's a lot that she's still learning and everything, but I just don't think she was prepared for the knockout style of wrestling. I also think this ring in Mexico was a little big. So um, for the guys, obviously it's not too big of a deal, but it's kind of bigger than the standard impact ring, especially the one, the one they knew, use in New York. So I think the ring was a little big for the ladies to move around. So because they were doing a lot of running, um, I just don't think a lot of the moves, a lot of the whips, the buckles, off the ropes looked real hard hitting. The general consensus was this wasn't really a good match. I expect better from her when she per perhaps wrestles someone that just, I don't know, more her speed or more... Maybe they plan out the match a little bit better in advance. I don't know. I don't want to act like an expert in that area. But we were all definitely expecting a little bit more. And I want to say this too. I'm not sure how used she is to wrestling as a baby face. You know, when she was doing the, the kind of silly thing that was a baby face role, obviously. But when she, uh, you know, went back down to NXT, she did the heel thing. She got called up. Then she got hurt very quickly. She was released by the company doing the indies thing i never watched her in ring of honor because i kind of stopped watching them for a little while i believe she was a heel in ring of honor you can let me know in the comments of this video but i do believe she was a heel so i think this is really new for her 
you know, if you look at those promos, the backstage stuff she was doing, the vignette, and then the backstage stuff with Madison and Kira, like, I felt she was out of her element. I don't think I don't think she knows how to be a strong baby face just yet. So maybe she's just better wrestling as a heel. Maybe she'll end up getting that heel turn. We'll see. But I can understand why they brought her on to be a baby face. Makes plenty of sense. Very popular athlete. But I do expect her to challenge for the bet for the uh, knockouts championship at Bound for Glory. So let's just accept this match for what it is, and let's hope next time around when she gets in the ring, it's a much better showing. Because again, like I said, I think this was a really excellent signing. I think this is someone you kind of want to have in your company due to name recognition, their brand, their social media following. On top of that, I wanted to talk about the impact of purchasing Ring of Honor rumors, and those are all that that's all they are at this point. They're just rumors. I wouldn't put a whole lot of stock into it, even though I do believe that there is a little bit of truth to it. But if you listen to Don Callis and Scott Demore in the recent episode of Talk is Jericho, Don, uh, Don Callis kind of played it off like, oh, I read this rumor that we're purchasing Ring of Honor now. He definitely played it off, but then he also made the comment that he's glad to be on those side of the rumors and the other way around. Because if you remember about a year and a half ago, there was rumors that Ring of Honor was going to purchase Impact Wrestling. So really, we have no idea if there's a whole lot of truth to this. It could be complete bullshit, blowing smoke up our asses. We do not know that. But the rumors are saying if they do purchase the Ring of Honor library, that it would be almost pretty much strictly for the library to add to the Impact Plus app to give more content. I don't think they have any wrestlers on that roster now, right now that are like must-haves. And as I've said in the past, I think if they do buy Ring of Honor, I don't think the top talent will be sticking around. But I think someone like a Kelly Klein would be really excellent to have. And they have they have a handful of uh, competitors that I think would be really nice in Impact. But if they do purchase Ring of Honor and dis dissolve it, it would be more to get the library, put it on the Impact Plus app, and um, if they do keep Ring of Honor around, from what I'm understanding, there's going to be crossovers. But right now, it's all rumor. It's all speculation. Who knows what the hell's going to happen. Thanks for swinging by. I do appreciate each and every one of you to check out the Impact Lounge uploads each and every day. We'll see what tomorrow brings news-wise. This is BQ, and I'll talk to you soon. Peace.